The Farm Bill, a term Americans have heard but few can define. The Farm Bill is a comprehensive bill that is passed every five years. Its budget includes agricultural subsidies. These are monetary stipends given to farmers of certain crops that greatly affect each citizen in the United States. Over the past decade, the amount of acres that produce fruits and vegetables have been steadily decreasing, while the acres for corn and soybean production have been steadily increasing. The 2008 Farm Bill gave $45 billion to growers of corn, soy, and other commodity crops such as wheat. These crops are being processed into concentrated sugars, high fructose corn syrup, snack foods that are high in fat, and perhaps most importantly, corn is sold cheaply as corn feed to companies to feed their livestock. Those purchasing cheap corn feed include Wendy's, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Carl's Jr., and other chains. This is partially how they are able to afford value menu prices as low as 99 cents. I gauged what Los Angeles residents put more importance on, their finances or their health by giving them an option between a healthier $10 lunch or a less healthy $5 lunch. I would definitely go with the $5 for a slightly less unhealthy lunch. Why? Because I'd rather pay $5 and spend 10. The $5 lunch and save some more money. I'll buy the $5 lunch. Why? Because I'm a college student and I don't have much money. If I was on a budget, I wouldn't hesitate. I would, I would sometimes go with the $5 meal, absolutely. The cheaper option, just because I don't usually want to spend as much on, on like one meal, um, even if it isn't as healthy. According to Brittany Bingham, California State University Northridge's nutritionist and athletic trainer for Associated Students Sports Clubs, sees these subsidies are causing a much bigger problem. The problem is, is that we're now creating a society that is overweight because they're not getting the nutrients that their body needs to operate properly. While the government funds unhealthy foods, they simultaneously are fighting obesity with movements like letsmove.org, an organization that is dedicated to educating students on the importance of healthy eating and exercise. Students learn what is healthy and what isn't, but can their families afford the right food? Most of their families cannot, so they end up with cheaper processed foods. From the nutrient perspective, your body is made to break down organic nutrients more efficiently than a processed food. The 2008 Farm Bill expires at the end of this year. The question becomes, will the government modify its subsidies that it's been giving to soy and corn production, or will it continue to overserve the American public? I'm James Jewett for Valley View News in Los Angeles, California.